pretty pretty nutty. Oh, damn, bro. Bro, the M4 is so damn good. It makes them all back out. Yo, what is up? It's your boy Hammy. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new, if you're one of the amazing new people from Swag's videos, oh, I would like to say from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Truly, it's absolutely amazing how many awesome people have come over to show us some love. What a heartwarming community this is. But today, we're about to show you some of the most insane M4 setups you can run that have helped us get to number one on the leaderboards. Let us know down below if any of these have helped you or if you have your own amazing class setup on the M4 you love to use. Also, hit that like button, subscribe with that little notification bell on so you don't make sure to miss any of our new content. Or we'll hop right on into that weapon review. Throw up a screenshot real quick so you can see the uh, class setup that we use. Uh, pause it if you need a little bit longer to copy it or whatnot. But the M4 is the cream of the crop. Best gun in the game for sure. It can do long range, close range, aims down sights quick, feels like a submachine gun, hits like an AR. Oh, best gun in the game. Hands down, dude. No questions asked. But for what we found with all of our weapon attachments, the two most important slots for any of the weapons are the stock and the barrel. They seem to have the most effects on either pros or cons. So we'll start off with the stock. We need no stock is what we think is like what makes this gun good. You can take off the stock and it greatly increases movement speed and aim down sight speed. So we are a very run and gun type of player. We like to move around the map from objective to objective, picking up tags, capping flags on the hard point, whatever it may be. It makes you get around the map really, really quick. And almost every single weapon slot or uh, attachment slot in this game affects aim down sights time negatively. So the just mm, just makes it amazing with the reduction to aim down sights time. Uh, and on top of that, the only downside to no stock is it really, really, really increases your re re recoil, which is a problem, but the M4 has a pretty predictable recoil, so it's no problem. And we'll also try to fix that with these other attachment slots coming up. Uh, the next attachment slot that we think is a must is the Corvus Custom Marksman Barrel. Now, why we use this over the M16 barrel is because it has a faster aim down sights time. And as we just talked about, the faster aim down sights in this game, the better you are. And the uh, the only thing the M16 barrel does better than the Corvus is it has like I think a four meter or four yard better range drop off. So it's not really that much beneficial over the aim down sights time. And to counter the recoil of the no stock, this Corvus barrel also reduces the vertical recoil. Along with the next attachment slot is the Ranger foregrip. Now this reduces vertical recoil pretty pretty good. And it also reduces weapon sway, which all these attachment slots also increase weapon sway, which is annoying. We'll also throw on the rubberized stock, or the foregrip. Not foregrip, the, what's it, the, the, the grip on the back of the gun, the hand grip. This reduces the uh, vertical recoil also, which is nice. So that's basically what we run on this. Uh, for the sight, uh, we run the first sight, the, I think it's the Cronin Mini Reflex sight. It seems to be pretty good. I'd also recommend the Viper uh, sight. And if you want to, I don't know, go for nukes with this class, because it's really hard to drop nukes in this game. If you want to go for nukes, I'd change out the grip, the rubberized grip, for um, fully loaded. Now I set the M6, or the M4, uh, I might call it the M16, because it looks like an M16. But the recoil pattern for this gun is actually really, really predictable. If you see here, uh, the picture, or the shot pattern on the left, is a bone stock M4 with just no stock on it. And the one on the right is the setup that we run. If you see that they both have a, about the first 15 shots go straight up. And then after that, they start to deviate off to the right. So if you just remember that after a while of holding down the trigger, just let off the trigger and start firing firing again. And you'll have all vertical recoil. So just pull straight down on your thumbstick. And it's really, really easy to control. Now I've seen a lot of people love to use the commando for grip on their M M4. All this does is cuts down side to side recoil, but if you see here, uh, the one on the left is the one we use, and the one on the right has the commando grip, same attachments, just changing the foregrip. Uh, it really seems like cutting down the vertical recoil to me is more beneficial, just because you can reset your shots after so much. Now the first setup was kind of for 6v6 smaller game modes, uh, but if you'd like to play ground war, I know a lot of people are ground war people, uh, we have another setup for you, throw it up here real quick. Uh, the only thing we really change here is we take off the stock and we just have the normal stock 
and we throw on the compensator on the front, which also just absolutely makes this gun have no recoil. As you see from the shot pattern here, uh, the one on the far right is the setup now. I mean, it's just, it has zero recoil, man. You will beam kids across the map, no problem. Just aim for the head, three shot kills across map. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And, and the only other setup that we have, have a third secret setup here. It's really fun to use for run and gun. If you throw on the 9mm magazine, the 9mm rounds, oh my goodness, this gun's like a little submachine gun. It's like a, not a little submachine gun, but a long submachine gun. You will be beaming kids across the map with this setup. You, all you want to do is change out the foregrip for the commando foregrip, because it changes it changes the recoil pattern to go straight up, but it's all side to side, so it wobbles real bad. Throw on the commando grip and just go straight up. You can just beam kids across the map. Really, really fun gun to use on um, close quarter maps. And also on this, if you change out the perks, uh, you want to run overkill on this 9mm setup to where you have the MP5 with the 45 uh, round magazine and the fully loaded. What this does is this makes you carry a whole bunch of 9mm ammo. I think it's like 400 and some odd rounds, so you will never run out of ammo. And also, if you want a good setup that we use, pretty generic, you want to run on your class, or your perks wise, you want to have EOD perk 1. It's the most beneficial perk 1 slot that I I can see hands down. Uh, perk 2, we, we run the kill chain perk. All it does is allows you to cycle your streaks. Yes, Ghost is a better perk, but if you want to have good score per minute and just control the maps on the skill-based matchmaking, you just get your Harrier, call on the Harrier with kill chain, and it'll get you your streaks. And just let yourself die, and just keep just keep getting streaks over and over. The kill streaks help you just control the map so much, man. And perk 3, you have two really only two perks here that you can use. Rerun Shrapnel on the smaller maps just because you can get two C4s to get people off the objectives and out of campsites. But if you don't care about that, run the Battle Hardened perk. It keeps you, it protects you from the flash grenades and all that, which is much, just much, much needed. So if, you, if this helped you guys out, I would muchly appreciate a like and, and just subscribe. It'd be just, mm, it'd help us out a lot. And let us know down below if this helped you out again or if you have your own class setup that you like. So this is your boy. Hand me out. Peace. Falling behind. 
behind. Regroup. Enemies taking Bravo. Securing Alpha. <laughs> Got a beat all on station. Ready to deploy. <laughs> we have taken control. <laughs> You're seated at Bravo.